Hey everyone, Jamie here, and it's already the first week of May, which means that spring is kind of coming to a close. So by now you've probably got a stockpile of photos from spring break, maybe even prom. Well, I've come up with a way for you to show off all of your photos at the exact same time. Get ready to make a clothespin picture wreath. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so for your picture wreath, you're going to need foam board or cardboard, clothes pins, craft glue or double-sided tape, hot glue or super glue, paint and a paintbrush, decorative paper, a pair of scissors, and a nail or hook for hanging. All right, it's time to clothes pin it to win it. Step one. The first step is to create a wreath using your foam board or cardboard. I'm using foam board because I have a bunch left over from my nail polish organizer video from a while back. Some stores actually already sell pre-made wreaths for crafting purposes, so you can just skip a step and go ahead and buy that instead. Otherwise, use your scissors to cut your board into a circle. Now you can leave this shape as is, or you can be like me and cut out the middle. By doing this, you can see the wall through your wreath, or you can put anything in the center, like a mirror, magnet board, chalkboard, or whiteboard. Step two, the next step is to decorate your wreath. Now you can just leave it the standard color, but I'm going to sharpen mine up a bit with the bright color of acrylic paint. You can also wrap your board in felt or fabric too. Once your wreath is complete, it's time to count and decorate your clothespins. Clip your clothespins around your wreath, side by side, until the entire thing is covered. This way you'll know the exact amount of clothespins you're going to need. Then decorate each clothespin by painting it, glitterizing it, bejeweling it, or simply covering it up in decorative paper. Have fun making your own design, whether you stick with one color Color, switch off colors, or make every one completely different from the others. Once every clothespin has been decorated, reattach them to your wreath until you're happy with your overall design. And technically you're all done if you wanted some wicked awesome wall art, but to transform this beauty into a picture frame, you've got one step left to go. Step four. The final step is to glue your clothespins to your frame. Take one pin at a time, flip it around so that the clip opening faces the outside, and then apply super glue or hot glue to its base in order to attach it to the edge of your wreath. Repeat this same step with all of your clothespins, gluing them into place. Now you can show off a photo as easy as one, two, three. Rest your wreath on any nail or hook, throw in your photos, and you've got a beautiful handmade picture frame at your service. There are so many different ways of doing this craft. You can use different sizes of clothespins for a varied look, or you can attach magnet strips on the back of each clothespin for a magnetic wreath instead of a cardboard one. How did you design your clothespin picture wreath? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By now you've probably got a stockpile of photos from spring break. Just spring break. Just a stockpile of spring break photos. I was in Florida and then I was in another state. So uh, the cat, I think the, uh, <laughs> I think, I have turned into a goat.